adding a chat to your website can be a tedious task and they can be rather expensive at times depending on who you go with. But there is already a free platform that you're most likely using for your business that you can add to your website with ease. In this video, we're going to talk about how to add a Facebook Messenger chat box to your site for free. Now, here is a little demo of what we have here. So on the right hand side, we have our chat box. And if we click chat now, then we come up right here and we have some chat right here. We're going to go ahead and show you how to add this to your site. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our site, go to plugins and add new. We're going to search for FB Messenger. If I can spell Messenger correctly. All right, from there, we're going to add the Facebook Messenger WordPress. Let's activate this. All right, so we have our settings over here WP Chatbot. Let's click on that. All right, so we're prompted with some settings right here, the Facebook page ID, Facebook app ID, and a couple of other settings right here. So let's go ahead and grab our Facebook ID, and you can go ahead and click on this and get more information. So over here, it's going to tell you to navigate to your site on Facebook, so your WordPress, I'm sorry, your Facebook business page. You're going to click on the About tab right here. It may be at the top, it may be at the bottom, depending on where yours is. And you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you're going to get your page ID right there. Okay. So it's going to be this long digit number. Go ahead and grab your page ID and you're going to paste it right in here inside of the Facebook page ID. Let me go ahead and paste mine in. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and create a Facebook app ID. We're going to navigate over to developers.facebook.com. And since I'm already a developer, it logs me in as Facebook. And then over here on the right hand side, we have the my apps. And then I could just create a new app. So if you're not a Facebook developer, just go ahead and sign up for an account and continue with all of their terms and things of that nature, fill in all the required information. And once you're done, go back to the main page, go to my apps and go to add new app. So this is what we're going to go ahead and name this. So whatever your business name is, and then messenger, whatever, it could be anything you want. So, um, demo messenger. All right. And your contact email address for whatever you want it to be. Um, it, this will not be shown on the front end. So go ahead and just put in whatever you want there. Going through a security check, click submit. From here, we're going to be navigated over to the app. This is all of our app. And all we have to do is it's real easy. We're just going to basically turn it on because we just need this app ID. So we're just going to turn it on and it's going to prompt us with adding a privacy policy. So let's go to basic settings. And this is located under settings and then basic. We're going to add a privacy policy. So I'm just going to add that here and a terms of service. I'm just going to add that there. You don't need to add the app icon or anything else uh, for this to work. So just go ahead and hit save changes. All right, let's go ahead and copy our app ID, go back to our chat bot and place this. Now log events, we'll go ahead and just click yes for that. And if you want the default color, it's going to be that Facebook blue. Otherwise, you could choose something to match your branding, just like I did on my site. The logged in greeting. So basically, the default, you can go ahead and say, hey, something like, how can we help you? Or chat with us for more information, whatever you want to put there. Uh, and logged out greeting saying, if you're not there, saying, hey, you know, we're out. We, we'll get your message next time we come in, something along that. Uh, we have the greeting dis uh, display, so we can do the default show, hide, or fade. How long to wait to show the greeting once they land on the page. I just have it immediately. Uh, we can do a few different items. We can hide it based on post type, so I just have it shown on all of my pages. And you can use page pages and post IDs to hide as well, as well as categories and devices. And of course, we have a short code to where we can 
have this be on any part of our website by just adding this short code. Let's go ahead and click Save Changes. Now, once we're done pasting all of our settings into the chat box, we need to do one last thing. We need to go to our page. We need to navigate over to the settings. From there, we need to navigate to Messenger Platform. And we need to go down to the spot where it says Whitelisted Domains. You need to add the domain name, full domain name with the HTTP or PS to this section for the site that you want the chat to be on. So you need to make sure you add that. So now that we've gone ahead and we added our whitelisted domain name, our chat will be 100% functional on our site. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, so there we go. We have our chat at the bottom right hand side. And then all your clients have to do is click on it, continue with their Facebook, and then they can chat with you through your Facebook messaging platform all for free. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and we will see you next time.